we went to school, I and then Mr. Partington closed. <laughs> Can you believe it, guys? He just kicked us out. For the first out. time in 17 and a half years, we've had a snow day. It's crazy. The grid salt was just not strong enough. <laughs> so do, 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 do you think the round away was upheld? <laughs> Me and Ben tried to take our coats off outside, but the teacher wouldn't let us. <laughs> we said, but miss, that's the round day way. I was like, nah, just come inside. We're like, no, man, it's not right. <laughs> I think the teachers just wanted to have a snowball fight with each other. <laughs> and so they got to get rid of the kids so they could do it without us seeing. Yeah. See, it's been snowing outside. Yeah, we went. That green yeah, screen is very good. <laughs> 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 the green screen's working perfectly, guys. When deciding to make a film looking at my school, the things I could have focused on seemed to be endless. However, there was one thing I never understood, the round a way, and more importantly, did it work? The round a way, the adopted ideology of round a school, is an idea pushed by teachers and staff, and something I was determined to find out what it all meant. A good place to start, I would have thought, would be the students of round a school. They should be the ones to hold the knowledge to this mystery, and be able to tell me what is the round a way. Um, it involves the three C's, I think. Like, you know, mm -hmm. Courtesy. Commitment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know what it is. I don't, what is it? Why? I know they always go on about the round a way. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I don't think Mr. Partington has done very well in like communicating that to us. I have to disagree. I'm a very avid believer in the round hay way, and I just I love the new system. Thanks. I have um. Yeah. The round hay way is over strict. Having your shirt tucked in. Um, dictatorship. Obviously, you following your instructions first time every time, but there's no there's no room for banter. Like try have some banter with your teachers. You're getting mm -hmm. sent out, so you know, it's just a savage, really. I have not to know. Nobody knows. No. It's just, talking rubbish. It's just basically like it's a me. bunch of pointless stuff, pointlessly. Yeah. So Put it this way, the Van Hay way is a complete laughing stock that people make jokes out of. I didn't seem to be progressing very far in my search for Round Hay way, but I wondered if the students could give me an insight into the new behaviour system, and maybe then I could find out if the Round Hay way really does work. The new behaviour system overall is better than the old one. It is a good tool for something good. So, so what do you think of the new system? I think it's really stupid. I think it's the worst change that's ever happened at the school ever. <laughs> uh, I think that you get codes for unnecessary things, like not having your shirt tucked in, because like... And it's just overly excessive, whereas if, for like, having your shirt untucked, it was just like a friendly reminder, like, can you have your, your tucked shirt in? But. The fact that the whole stupid business with excessive uniform policies and stuff like that yeah. is not relevant and instead it should, the attention should just be focused on things around the mm. low level chuntering. And things like untucked shirts. And also not being able to wear your coat in the diamonds is uh, ridiculous. So do you think that takes the focus away from what school should be? Yeah, yeah it, it takes so. it away from things that like just coding people for things that wouldn't be about just about learning and makes it something like you have to censor yourself in mm -hmm. everything that you do at school. Mm -hmm. So I think school is supposed to be about learning and they've made it about um, different kinds of things. The old system was so chaotic and terrible and now it's just so organised and... Do you think that's better? Yeah. The, the old system was sick. Yeah, because it, I think it, it focuses more on um, positives rather than negatives, but okay. also, um, you know, it seems strict. Um, so, what do you think of the new system that they've put in? Yeah. I think it's crap, not going to lie. Yeah, it, it, could, it could do with being a lot better. I don't, I think it has stopped, like, crap in the classroom from happening. Yeah. But it's just annoying. 
like how we can't do certain stuff anymore. Yeah, it's a lot more regulated. Pointless codes. Yeah. yeah. Well, the new system, um, I'm really, I don't really get codes, so it's not really affected me in a big way. However, one way that it has affected me well in is the new positive behaviour sessions, which take innumerable time out of lessons. At this point, we have lost three and a half days of learning time to this new system, which is really kind of completely and utterly pointless. So, yeah. That are just pointless, just to look like they're doing stuff when they're not doing stuff. The students didn't seem overly enthusiastic about the new changes, but I decided to sit down with a couple of my classmates in my project form and delve a little deeper. So some people don't know what it is, so why, does, why do people not know what it is? Because they don't really care. Cause you think people don't care about their own way, but if it's so great, then why do people not care? Well, basically, it's not that people don't really care, it's people that they don't know what it is, because one assembly Mr. Pottington came in and started talking about the round A way, but then none of us knew what that story was, so... Do you think it's unique to the school? No. Yeah. What? I don't know. <laughs> you think he stole it from somewhere? No, I think, I mean, obviously, round A way, you know, that's yeah. the round A school, but all schools have, like, their own little yeah. behaviour policies. Mm -hmm. So you think it's just a name, a special name for the behaviour policy, and it's not worth me chasing after? So do you think it didn't exist before he arrived? Yeah, I think he made it up. Yeah, he made it up, definitely. Oh, do you think it's engraved in the foundations of these, this school? Yeah, these walls. <laughs> it's painted on the walls. You rip away some of those... How are you going to find the round I'm going to rip away some bricks and... Just yeah, and I'll just say, claw my there's been a scroll. It's, me, there's been, it's like the Harry Grail. Yes, the round hay. The round way. <laughs> Engraved in our school. <laughs> I think Mr. Partington made it. Mr. Partington just kind of thought. Just to inspire us to be better yeah. people. I think he thought, what will inspire the kids of Round Hay School? And was like, yeah, we'll make catchy up slogan. a little catchy slogan, yeah, called the Round Hay Way. Mm -hmm. and, then, and we'll confuse everyone. So there was no, like, silly, like, right, we're going to change this, we're going to change it. And they just gave us our planner and it, it was came, completely different. came on the first day. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like, oh, well, this is your planner now. Yeah. Fundamentally, is it better than the old system, though? I feel like... Which, admittedly, kind of was a bit of a mess. Yeah, the old, yeah, the old, was, the old system was a bit of a mess. Like, you did get, you did get more. I feel like this system may be more organised, but it's not... It's as fair rigid. for us. Yeah, yeah it is, it's not as fair. I feel like they should have made it a bit more in mind of the students instead of just the teachers. One thing that came up when I was talking to people, they were saying that they got good notes for the minimum expectation. Mm -hmm. So, like, not doing bad things instead mm -hmm. of getting rewarded for doing good things. And yeah. It seems a bit interesting for a positive behaviour yeah. system to reward people just not doing, doing bad things. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was like at the start of the year, but now they don't really even give positives to people who, like, put their hands on it's kind of like at the start they would give you codes and positive notes for doing good and bad things but then now it's just there's nothing apart from negative they just give you negatives. Plus the negatives aren't really, they, 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 yeah they don't mean anything, like they give negatives for like the smallest things. So what is the round way? Shit. It's been latched onto as a, as a phrase that exists. Yeah I suppose it, start, it started like as like I mean, it was all right, but then Mr. It started Parkinson, as inspiration to Yeah, Mr. Those. Parkinson was the one who just like sort of took it and then changed the meaning to mean something like worse. You think it means it works? Well, yeah, because it seems like M Mr. Clefton would like, if you had a problem, Mr. Clefton would find out what the, what the problem was and he'd like get to the root of it. Whereas Mr. Parkinson doesn't care, he'll just do whatever until you get in trouble. Wow, well, strong no, he'll words. Just give you, like, I think last loads year, of punishment. low level talking mm -hmm. was a very big issue in terms of behaviour and that has been fully <laughs> addressed. What you mean, low but, level chuntering? Yes, low level chuntering, as it was, as the phrase has been coined. Uh, low level chuntering. I think like code, co the like codes rather than bad notes. I think is good. Plus, you get like five codes rather than three bad notes. But I think what they give me good notes, where you now have to get a certain amount, has made it because before you would just try and get as many as possible. Yeah. But now, once you get 150, good notes are essentially worthless, and like they they don't mean anything anymore. Because before you had to have a good ATL to go on a trip. Yeah, that whereas now, since you need good notes, everyone's getting 150 and they're just not trying because they don't. It was instated by Mr. Partington. No, but was it, it though? I think the Rande Way was, was spawned out of the depths of somebody's mind years and years ago. 
Hold that thought. That sounds like an issue for a long-standing, experienced member of staff. And I knew just the guy. I mean, to me, going back, as I say, I started working about 1989, the architects of the Round Way were people like Jean Fennell, the deputy head then. I mean, there wasn't any feeling there was an ethos of, of, of genuine care within the school. Yeah. It wasn't that. Now, that had to be sort of developed. That It probably took, I, I don't know, I seriously, Tom, I don't know, it yeah. probably took maybe 10, 10 years uh, through the sort of the 90s for that culture to become established. I quickly discovered that there was more to the Round Day Way than first thought. Long-standing history teacher Mr. Piers is walking me through what Round Day School stood for and how it came about. So you've worked here for 30 years and how, yeah. how have things changed mainly to do with sort of the system, like the behaviour systems that they've run? Was there even a system before or is it just rules? Is there as much as like... Yeah, I, I, I can see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah there, were, there were systems, there were systems then. Um, but the systems weren't as sort of codified as yeah. they are now. Uh, so the, the round A way in its infancy really left a lot to the individual discretion. I think the key thing with the behaviour system is, is where there are serious uh, issues. I think they're always still looked at uh, individually by yeah. your leaders rather than just automatically sanctioned. So I think that flexibility still does yeah. exist. It might not be quite apparent, always apparent, yeah. to you as a student in the classroom. But where it becomes a more serious issue, uh, I think at this school there'll always be the uh, opportunity for sensitive handling of any particular issues. What, what is the round day way? Yeah, I thought you'd ask that, Tom. Yes. I thought you'd ask that question. Why is the round that's, um, the, that's the question? I, you know, it's a brilliant question. And it, it's something that, even at the last staff meeting, staff were talking about the round day way. Well, to me, the, the, the round here way has always meant, uh, has been, as a t from a teacher's point of view, is ensuring that all students are equally supported. Yes. And, right, uh, certainly where students have suffered any sort of setback, disadvantage, anything that's beyond their control, that those students are actually additionally supported. There are a lot of kids at this school without people outside of the school to help them. Yeah. Now, to me, the round A way always has been, it is our duty to help them, yeah. to help all, but particularly to help those that are more sort of marginalised or disadvantaged through, as I say, through no fault of their own. So what the round A way is, is that, it's a sort of student-centred approach. You do everything you can to support the student, academically, yeah. particularly from somebody like my perspective, but pastorally as well. If their wellbeing isn't good, they're not going to be good learners, yeah. are they, Tom? Yeah. So, the, yeah. to me, the bottom line is, is that you make sure that all, all students are cared for. Yeah. That yeah. you can have a behaviour system, yeah, but the round a way yeah. of ensuring high-quality support for all, and particularly helping disadvantaged or marginalised children, the behaviour system does not stop you doing that. I could have sat and spoke about the round a way for hours, but time pushed on. I decided to move on to my own history teacher, Mr Bowman, relatively new to teaching compared to Mr Pearce, but no stranger to Round A and its ways. How long have you worked at Round A? Um, I have had a pretty interesting time at Round A, so I've probably worked here for six years, but I worked here a year after sixth form, okay. and then I worked as a behaviour mentor. Then after university, I came back and I worked as a, as a, as a mentor in the mansion for two years, and then I trained here, so I learnt to be a history teacher at Round A, under other staff, and then I've been a history teacher for two years now. Has it changed much? I think uh, some of the main changes has been the changes to the curriculum, so the changes to moving from the A star to C to nine to four. Yeah. And I think with the changes in curriculum, it has brought around a change in the ethos of the school because it has to be more um, we're more tied to those those outcomes in some okay. ways, and I think I think the schools had to adjust to that as well. They had to adjust to the changes in the curriculum. So, what is the round A way? What is the round A way? The round A way is, for me, it's about doing right by the children and doing right by uh, what what is in the best interest of the child should always be done first. And I think as a school we've tried to do that, whether it's not judging on what, what, you're, what we're being told to do, making sure that we've got the interests of the children at, at every stage. And I think 
that comes across to the kids through the relationships that students have with teachers and yeah. I feel like because students in general feel like teachers are on the side, they're willing yeah. to work with us. That element of, yeah we're all individuals and we all have these rules to stick with but everyone gets their individual care behind the scenes and needs them books yeah. about anarcho syndicalism or it may be having a laugh about putting recycling on Brannock or whatever it may yeah. be, things like that. Uh, they're done because because there's a relationship where it's all based around work and it's also based around we're working together to achieve something, which I quite like. Okay. Yeah, it's the idea of the multiculturalism yeah. of Round A, the idea that you can you can come in from a particular background and you can get thrown into a form that's... Pavilion building and, and the yeah. fact that we're going to have a lot more students, so why do you think the behaviour system was changed and do you think it's a good thing that it was brought in to... Um, why it was changed was because there was too many on calls, as in there was there was too many. There was teachers were spending too much attention working or, or, or fighting fires. Rules were accepted. Personally, I was really I was I was quite apprehensive because this could mean casting kids out of lessons. It could mean excluding pupils, and it could mean isolating vulnerable people. And within the first term. I think there, was, there wasn't as many as, as you would think, there was maybe yeah. two or three pupils that were at that borderline, but since, since that and since we've got this behaviour policy, most kids have responded pretty well to it and, it and it has created a certain amount of stability in lessons. I like working here in terms of that because things are done because they teach good values because things like when we went on the history trip when we took everyone to the battlefields. That wasn't particularly relevant to the course, yeah. but that was there because they, weren't, they were not ashamed to, to try new things. Mm. The girls were speaking French, the boys were talking about odd, stupid political conversations, yeah. and they were, yeah. they, were, they were trying to be, they were, they, were, they were acting out their intelligence and they weren't afraid to shy away from that. And I think yeah. to feel safe in an environment where you can do that, is really something, and where fear, where sorry, where like failure is accepted, like you're gonna fail, you're gonna, you, it's not, it's not easy to um, to achieve GCSEs these days, and it's, and it's getting inherently harder. And I think keeping up that culture of working with children and saying, yeah, you're gonna get knocked down, and yeah. we work with you, is really important to me. Before the interview was even over, two Year Seven students came to see Mr. Bowman about a going away gift for their friend moving to Greece, and it got me thinking. Is this the round of way working? Because she's, moved, she's moving to Greece. So she's not going to be here on Friday, so we can't give her the present. Yeah. So we were thinking on Thursday, um, like next Thursday, we could, yeah, so what we're thinking is make like a scrapbook for her. She has to yeah. get can give it to like... I've got one. Are you, do you know this? Yeah, yeah I mean, that's what we did at the start of the year, didn't yeah. we? So we could, I could, you know, <laughs> remember that poem that we did? Mm-hmm. And then everyone did their yeah. separate uh, things about yeah, yeah. someone else in the form. And everyone, oh my god! <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, so I think it is in there somewhere. Yeah, that's just not bad. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> we're well, Anna's. Um, so we were thinking maybe to do it as well. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. So yeah, if you fancy wanting that, we could do it. Yeah. And then instead of doing, instead of doing it on the f when, it, when it's the uh, roundly fixed, mm -hmm. we can do maybe something about pride, about maybe. Everyone from different cultures, different places, and we can say, oh, she, Anna's moving to Greece. Cause we're yeah, about we could talk about that, because I know, because her mum's told us a lot of stuff about it and stuff. It's a lot, because she's like moving to this really nice house, where they've we've already owned, and they're making it really nice, having pools, and they're just so lucky. Sounds good. Yeah. So, if they want to, and then we can get, like, those people. Like, <laughs> you can finish that. Yeah, I'm so hot. <laughs> it's been pretty hot today, hasn't it? Yeah. We've just had a French test as well. Oh, I don't know how I did on um, So, if you just let us know, Monday. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right. I couldn't help but think there was something in the casual and caring relationship and the trust the students instilled in their teacher. Something which I'd began to witness more often than not and always taken for granted. Maybe the roundabout way was right before my eyes the whole time. <laughs>the one thing that embodies the round their way, that brings the school together and represents the values of a student-centred approach and whatever else the round their way stands for, is the student-led radio station, Round Day Radio. For me, this is the round their way, and it does work.
Okay, I'm going to Brian the radio now. We're going to do Getting it. Getting very close, Tom. <laughs> Welcome back to the Music from Film segment. We're here again joined by Benjamin, Jacob and Thomas. So first we're going to kick it off. Welcome Thomas. Uh, hi, and I'm with obviously Jacob and Ben. And we're going to start off with uh, the main theme from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. My favourite movie ever. So let's go. I felt the effort, passion and willingness to partake from students and teachers was something that can be forgotten in the small world of harsh exams, stupid curriculums and confusing rules. But what Randy Radio proves is not all is lost, and maybe in that swan week in the summer, something is gained. I started this journey, I won't say as a joke, but not expecting to find much, seeing it as a trivial thing to make an ironic film about. And despite the majority of the student population not knowing what the Rando way was, why or even when, I felt that their collective lack of knowledge and jokes about it was the Rando way to them. Something for them to rally around together, whether they know it or not. For the teachers, it was something different. And for me, looking deep into the heart of it, something different still. I guess the Rando way is whatever you want it to be. Or oh, I don't know, probably not, but it will always be in Round Day continuing to grow and confuse every new set of students that pass through this school. Bollocks, I need to think about this for like a minute. Oh, right. Care to seek up operation and commitment. For being honest, what you're about to see is a round day way. Alright, alright, alright. This is, this is a real round day way. Oh! Yeah, finished documentary, cut, done. That's a wrap.